When you dominate a game the way you did, are you left scratching your head wondering how you've lost that? Yes, exactly. It's difficult now, you know, to accept uh, the defeat because after uh, the first half that we play really well, dominate and create the chances, we have the control. I think uh, Brentford didn't do, you know, what they planned and I think we were so, so, so good. But of course, in the last third, you need to score and be very, very clinical. When that not happen, you need some luck, maybe to score or to the opening score on goal. Um, and when you score, always is, you know, it's after the second half. I think it was difficult because we concede. I think the first chances that we we concede, and and then it was tough because it was difficult to break down the the block, defensive block. Some talk thoughts there from Rizzio Pochettino. I want to take you back, though, because at Stamford Bridge, the scorer, oh, he's not actually quite ready for us yet. Ethan Pinnock, I think, is going to get his headset on. He scored the first goal for Brentford. When he does get his headset on, we will bring that interview uh, to you. When you look at Rizzio Pochettino yeah. and the mounting problems and the work he has to do, yeah. he somebody has to give it to him. Somebody has to give him yeah. some help as well, yeah. Robbie, because he's the one who's trying to lead this. And it does feel like one step forward, mm. two back today. Yeah, he's got a good staff around him, though, Rebecca. We saw in the Premier League Summer Series, these eight or nine who, who were there, his assistant coaches, his, his analysts. Although one uh, of them got sent off today, Jesus Perez. It doesn't yeah. help, does it? It doesn't, but they're, they're a good group. And... I think it's just more evidence that this is a longer-term project than, than when they started. And it's going to take some bad days. And it, there needs to be rain before the rainbow comes. OK, so realistically, what should they be aiming for? Because I've heard the past week, <clears> since <throat> they started to turn heads a little bit, Chelsea, mm. oh, they can go top four now, certainly top six. What do you think, Robbie? Now you've seen ten games for Chelsea. The realistic expectations? I, th I think they look like a mid-table side. So where they are now? Expectations 11th? will be top six. They've won three Premier League games. They've played ten, they've won three. Luton, Fulham and Burnley. That, that, that's, not, that's not a great sign that they're... And I know they've, they've dominated games. And again today, Pochettino is sort of saying again that we did everything right. It's just putting the ball in the back of the net, which in some ways is correct. But, you know, after ten games now, that's, that's a poor position to be in the league table, even given people like us saying it's going to take time. They've got young players settling in. The whole club's changed. It's just, this football club demands better than that. Do you think Pochettino is surprised by where they are and their struggle? A little. I think he's a little... Today, I think he's disappointed, Rebecca. Today will be hard for him to, to take that they have played in that way. Jackson's back in the team. They're creating chances. He's got Cole Palmer in the tent. I know who's missing, but one goal in the first half completely changes it. They can relax. They can maybe go on and get a second and, and win the game. To play as well as they did last week against Arsenal for 70 minutes and then to play that way today against Brentford is, is huge. Isn't that, isn't that a sign, though, again, of young players, Rob, yeah. isn't it? Young yeah, players that, that can be up and down. We're seeing it right now. Madueke today was really, really quiet. The shot that hits the bar first half was brilliant. After that, not much. Sterling was back to erratic Sterling, really. And, and Jackson... I mean, did he have that many clear-cut chances, Nicholas Jackson? So it's, 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 it's difficult. Do you fancy Ivan Tony? Because apparently Pochettino does in that Chelsea team. Absolutely. Would you like to see him? I'd like to see him in any, 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 of, the, any of the big boys. He's a good striker, proper striker. will give them something very, very different. He'd be a great signing, yeah. Because he could finish all the chances yeah, that you were talking about earlier absolutely. on, Robbie, that they're creating. Makes it so much different. And, and the centre-forward backs at times can paper over the cracks. You don't have to play as well. You get a centre-forward at the top end of the pitch who put, puts a couple of goals away. And just just one, one final point. Rhys James and Ben Cherwell in full-back areas instead of De Sassi and, and Kukurea. It's a step up in terms of creating and scoring yeah. as well. Yep, they've got injuries to come back, that's for certain. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.